Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's nine o'clock. It's time for a hidden gem. So what is the hidden gems? Well, the idea is simple. I showcase to everybody that's watching this video an older trick, a trick that's been around for years and years and years. It could be something that's been marketed as a standalone product. It could be part of a DVD. It could be part of an online course. It could be part of a magazine. It could be part of a book. But I spotlight and highlight to you a trick that's been around for years and years and years ago. And there's a chance that you might not be aware of it. Now, for me, this is one of the most important videos on the channel. Magic TV is all about this. And the reason is... Uh, we always race to buy the latest and greatest trick. It's just something that we do because the marketing machine pushes us towards that latest and greatest trick. It's not about the tricks that have come out from years gone by. It's about that latest trick. And every single discussion forum, whether it's on Facebook or Reddit or the Magic Cafe or various different platforms, they always talk about the new trick that comes out because that's what everyone's excited about, right? And rightfully so. It's exciting when new tricks come out. But here's the thing. The tricks that came out from years gone by they are just as good as the tricks that have come out recently and uh, a lot of people don't talk about them so if you want something unique in your act if you want something different if you want something that not everybody is doing you want to look at some of those older tricks because a lot of people they put those new things into their act and they forget about the tricks that have been around for years and years and years and uh, and and for me i love talking about tricks that have come out from years ago and i'm going to give you uh, today i'm going to be talking about one of my favorite gaff decks of all time i'm going to be talking about diminishing returns by mike powers diminishing returns by mike powers now i remember when i first got into magic or very shortly after getting into magic seeing diminishing returns and thinking okay that's real magic or at least that's as close to real magic as i'd seen at that point and and when i watched diminishing returns i had I thought I was really good at magic. I'd learned a few principles. I'd learned a few routines. And then I saw this and it just blew me away. It just didn't make any sense. I was like, I have no idea how that's done. I couldn't even begin to think about how that's done. And I bought it. And when I learned it, I would perform this everywhere. Now, if you don't know what Diminishing Returns is, I'm going to perform it for you right now. Let's have a look at Diminishing Returns by Mike Powers. When I've had a look at the performance, we'll talk about why this is so good. So I'm going to show you something with a pack of playing cards, okay? Okay. Uh, 52 cards, um, 52 possibilities. Now, for some reason, I don't understand why this trick does not work with Jokers. Uh, I've tried to do it with Jokers in the past. It just doesn't work. So we're going to put the Joker to one side and we're just going to use the rest of the cards. Is that fair? Yeah. Now, I'm going to spread the cards out on the table so you can see them all. And I just want you to name any card that you want to. It's totally up to you. Um, oh, OK. Uh, Nine of Diamonds. Where's that? Right there. Nope. Uh, there, yeah. there it is. Okay, cool. And are you happy with the Nine of Diamonds? Yeah. You know what's really weird? That card, you pick the only card in the deck that's different to all the other cards. Oh, huh. I don't know if you noticed that. Did you Did you realise that the Nine's different? No. I mean, all the other cards are just completely black, uh, completely tiny. Look at them all. They're all really? tiny, 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 tiny little cards, except for the Nine of Diamonds. I mean, it's amazing that you're able to pick the only tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny card. Um, the only what's, big card. Well, the only big card, yeah. What's interesting, though, is if I put it in the deck, you can actually see... The size difference. Now, the only way to fix this is to take the cards and do this. And then what happens is the cards sort themselves out and they all go really big, except for that nine of diamonds. See, I told you it was a tiny, <laughs> tiny, tiny card. There it is. It's, the, it's now the only one that's tiny in a big deck of cards. Uh, right. The only way to fix this, you see that nine of diamonds? Yeah. So if I pull it out, it becomes bigger again. Now it's the same size as every other card in the pack. And that is just completely impossible. So I think first thing that we need to do is get the elephant in the room out of the way. And what do I mean by that? Well, we need to talk about um, uh, we need to talk about the fact that this is not a walk around piece. This is not a piece that you would do in a strolling environment. This is something that you're going to need a table to perform, ideally with a close up pad. So there's certain environments where this won't work and there's certain environments where, they are, where it will. If you're working behind a bar, if you're doing a formal close up show, if you're doing a, um, a parlor show, if you're doing an environment in which you can control 
the position in which you perform, this is great. Uh, and as long as you're aware that you need that sort of environment, it's not a problem. Basically, you need to be able to spread the cards on the deck. The whole way this works is having the ability to spread the cards on the deck. Now, here's the thing. This is Let me explain why this is so good. It's so good because laymen assume that they know what the card trick is going to be that you're going to do. Be honest with me. How many times have you been to show someone a card trick, whether it's a gig or a non-gig or a social situation? How many times have you shown someone a trick and you've gone to take out a pack of cards and you've said, pick a card and they go, oh, I've seen that one. Because laymen cannot comprehend how many card tricks there are. Because it's very difficult for magicians to comprehend how many card tricks there are. There's thousands of them. And there's a very good chance that when you go pick a card, They've not seen that trick before, but they make the assumption that they have seen it before. And that's one of the reasons why this trick is so good, because very, very quickly, very, very early on, they're going to see this incredible moment where the card that they've picked has shrunk. And it's like, what? And it looks really fair. They pick a card, there's no force. You take it out, it's put back in the pack. You spread the deck and their card has shrunk in the middle of the deck. I mean, that's about as close to real magic as you can get, right? It looks incredible. But then you've got that even better moment where you just take that miniature card out and it grows again. Like this is TV quality magic. This is the sort of thing that you would see on a TV show. This is the sort of thing that you would see um, definitely on social media. In fact, it surprises me that not I've never seen this done on TikTok. I've never seen this done on Instagram. I've never seen this done on a uh, on a YouTube Shorts, and it surprises me because that moment it looks great. It really does. And then, just when you think that that trick's over, the entire deck shrinks except for the card that they picked. I mean, wow! Right? Wow! That, that, that moment right there, when you think about the structure of this routine and you think about exactly what's happening in it, it's so strong because each phase builds. The first phase is good, then it grows and it's even better. Then the entire deck shrinks and then boom, the deck goes back to normal. I mean, it's great. Talk about establishing credibility. It's why diminishing returns is one of the best openers to a card set that you're going to see. Because by the time you've done this, People just assume that you are incredible with a pack of playing cards and you know how to do anything. And they're seeing magic that they've never seen before. It's not like they're going to turn around and go, oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Oh, yeah, really? You've seen, a deck, you've seen an entire deck shrink right in front of your eyes. And when I do diminishing returns, I really like to include uh, the shrinking card case because the shrinking card case for me is a fantastic way to get into this because you bring the deck of cards out and now the card case has shrunk and it kind of... Um, foreshadows what they're going to see in the rest of the routine. Um, but if you're structuring an act together and you want to put something into your act, now this used to be a classic dealer item. This used to be things that every single dealer would dem because, you know, dealers love tricks that they can dem that look super visual that are actually really easy to do. And that's what this is. This is a really easy trick that you can do. And, and as soon as you do it, you're going to, you're going to grab everyone's attention. It's very, very easy. Um, but it looks amazing. And I don't see dealers do it anymore i don't see anyone talking about it i can't remember the last time anybody mentioned diminishing returns so i'm mentioning it right now it's a gaff deck it's fully gaffed it's not examinable but right time right place this is absolutely awesome and like i say if you're a social media magician and you post on social media all the time why are you not doing this trick because this is something i'm not seeing any other social media magician do and i reckon this would get great views in fact i'm going to speak to ryland about doing this on his instagram uh but it's called diminishing returns it's a gaff deck you can get it from all good magic dealers it's by mike powers who is an absolute legend and this trick is sick. So there you go, guys. That's another hidden gems in the back. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this, you know what you've got to do. Just like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, if you want to join the Net Tricks, you can do so right now by going to www.thenettricks.com. Hundreds of tricks up there, hundreds of slides up there. We're adding new ones every single week. And uh, also, we've got a Discord channel now right there in the Net Tricks. So any members of the Net Tricks can access the Discord channel. And myself and Chris James are wanting to make there's the number one Discord channel in the whole of Magic. And I think that we're going to make that happen. But you want to know more? Go and check out the Netflix. I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.